Welcome back to Kaust Live. We're here at the HPC Saudi 2017 event. Um, we're coming to the studio, um, coming to you from the studio today with the Director of Research, Training and Consultancy at King Abdelaziz University. Uh, his name is Dr. Rashid Mahmoud. Um, Dr. Rashid, thank you for, for joining us today. That's a, that's a long title. Can you uh, fill us in on, on, on what that all means? Okay, hi, uh, Nicholas. Uh, thanks for having me here. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, um, we have this um, uh, center which started in uh, 2015, okay. officially. And um, I joined in 2015 as well, in October 2015. Um, uh, basically, I take care of the research side um, related to HPC. Um, and plus training and consultancy, and I, I elaborate on that. So um, we have um, a user base in King of the Lizzie's University, so we have climate modeling, we have uh, aeronautics, we have aerospace, um, uh, genetics, and so on. Uh, of course, computer science college as well. So we, um, uh, we provide them services. Um, uh, for example, if there are some cores which are not working, they need configuration, compiling, and so on. So we provide them services to do that. So my my so we have our onboard uh, manager for for that purpose from Fujitsu. My role is to develop research with the faculty, mm -hmm. develop um, in the center itself, mm -hmm. um, and um, the training element is that uh, we want to provide training uh, to the. Um, to different departments, different faculties in the university, and and we are growing, and we we are going to extend it to outside the university as well. Consultancy means that basically we are looking at uh, people who are interested in us to advise them about HPC related research. For example, if they are developing some product, they are doing some research, and they haven't used HPC, or they are using HPC, but they don't know how to optimize it and so on, then we provide them consultancy. Mm -hmm. So the, the, does the training for the team that runs the physical infrastructure, does that also uh, take part in your group? Or? Um, our, uh, the, the operation side currently is being done by a Fujitsu team. Uh, so they take care of, of those things. And mm -hmm. plus, um, um, they provide support to the users as well for um, uh, optimizing the code and so on. But that is more on a smaller scale than what we are uh, envisioning. Well, what what are you envisioning? Is that <coughs> I mean, we want to go bigger. We we right. want to um, uh, make some fundamental changes in science. For example, we want to work with the best scientists to innovate. So they might not be good in HPC. We are good right. in HPC, so we will enable them to accelerate in research to innovate new things. Similarly, we will outreach to the industry as well. There is already quite few things happening. And uh, because we are a new center, but um, um, basically that's the vision, and and we are working towards it. Right. Um, what in terms of exciting research or, or things are you guys supporting? Anything come to mind? Um, uh, so in King Abdulaziz University, mm -hmm. we have a strong climate modeling group, and in aeronautics, a strong group as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we are building capacity in smart cities as well. Mm -hmm. So these are three areas, but we have other areas like genetics. There is a lot happening there as well, and, and biochemistry, all all areas. Uh, mm -hmm. But generally, these areas are notable ones where a lot of things are happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, so you joined in 2015, in particular this center. Uh, so, so what sort of growth have you seen in the HPC ecosystem in the kingdom? Uh, that's one of the, the the big things that's being discussed at this conference. Mm -hmm. So um, since I joined, uh, first thing is that the Saudi Vision 2030 came out mm -hmm. afterwards. Um, there is a strong commitment to um, uh, the knowledge base economy. Um, and um, also in terms of uh, Saudi government's uh, support for HPC, so um, Saudi Arabia is number seventh in the world in mm -hmm. terms of the top 500 uh, computing mm -hmm. a number of uh, supercomputers. Mm -hmm. So um, we, uh, I, I think there is a strong support there. And in the last few, uh, last uh, one and a half year or something, um, I mean these things you can see from the, for example, the conference which was held last year and the, the same conference which is held this year. Mm -hmm. We can see that the number of attendees are rising. Um, I mean, personally, I see, uh, you know, much more participation from the kingdom mm -hmm. uh, compared to the last year. 
So things are happening and similarly industries are getting to know more about HPC and they are approaching us as well. And I know from my colleagues in Kaust and other universities that this is happening as well. So I can see that momentum, momentum is building up uh, okay. for HPC uh, in the kingdom. Um, what sort of challenges do you see uh, facing the growth of this ecosystem over the next five to ten years? Um, uh, I would say that HPC is is a uh, is a challenge itself in in research. I mean, um, I worked in in for example UK, and I know that uh, finding good scientists, engineers in HPC is not easy. It's a difficult area, mm -hmm. uh, requires a lot of mathematical side and a lot of commitment on the computational side as well because of the high performance element. Uh, so therefore, um, uh, it's not an easy thing. Mm -hmm. um, um, so in Kingdom then it becomes even more difficult because uh, HPC hasn't found its root in terms of soft, soft capacity. Mm -hmm. So for example, our students uh, there in King Abdulaziz University, they, you know, apart from certain um, uh, faculties, uh, they are not very much aware. I mean, if they are using it HPC, then mostly they are buying softwares which are already available. It doesn't mean that we are not doing good research, but what I mean is that we need, uh, we, we have a hard task in developing our students and our faculty in this area. Mm -hmm. So that basically is a challenge and we are working towards it. Mm -hmm. Um, do you see uh, collaborations in the kingdom as a, as a potential key to, to solving some of that? Or? Yeah, yeah, this is a very important. <coughs> Today we are going to have a panel as well uh, mm -hmm. on this one that how to accelerate uh, HPC education and training in the kingdom. So that that is an element and uh, HPC Saudi the organizing committee has realized it mm -hmm. and we are very keen work on it and we are very keen to outreach as many people as possible and provide training and other conferences and so on uh, to enable them to learn more, to create awareness and to create quality as well so that it, we can create innovation in the country using HPC. Hmm. Well, what do you see as the future of, of HPC, uh, particularly supporting research and, and uh, industry? Uh, wh where is it going? Um, I think more and more companies mm -hmm. uh, will work with um, the universities mm -hmm. um, who have the, the intellectual uh, skills and they will work to transform their industries mm -hmm. and because of the Saudi government commitment on, on Saudi, um, the Saudi vision, I think that will help. Mm -hmm. um, um, but a bottom-up approach is needed and, and we universities understand that and we are working with industry. So I think one thing is that the small medium enterprises, SMEs, they, they need to uh, work closely with mm -hmm. the universities and, and we know that this should happen as well and then the incubators and accelerators, they will help this to happen as well. So uh, I think the future is looking very bright given that we are number seven in, in the world mm -hmm. in terms of the computing, uh, supercomputing power and also the commitment mm -hmm. um, and also the efforts which I know are happening in the, in the region. Mm -hmm. Any uh, any big ideas? Any any uh, any dream things that, that you'd like to, to see happen, or, or if you could have, you think it could uh, accelerate things? Um, so first thing is that we are number seven. Sorry, I'm repeating this one, but <laughs> but you see, this number seven is more on the hardware side, not mm -hmm. on the soft capacity side. So this is, um, um, I mean, my vision is to work towards it that we have at least number seven in terms of software capacity as well, and we. Whatever we do, we become internationally leading and internationally excellent. So this is this is something uh, I'm working towards it, and my colleagues and and in in Kaust as well, the colleagues which we have spoken to, we are all working together uh, together towards this. Yeah. Any um, any lessons to be picked up for for Kaust as a new organization? You think? Okay. Um, I would say that Kaust is a new organization, but uh, they have better capacity in HPC than KAU. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, they have number top uh, top 10 machine. I mean, now it is top 15, but still, mm -hmm. you know, it was top number top 10. Uh, I mean, within top 10. Yeah. Um, so, um, so they have already quite good expertise in, in certain areas. Um, we are relatively, although we are old organization, but in HPC we are actually uh, new compared to COWS. Mm -hmm. But we have certain areas where we think that COWS can learn from us. 
and especially they can learn from our, our experience because we are training the faculty mm -hmm. and the people who are not very trained compared to cows whose job is to train those people who are already very advanced. Mm -hmm. So I think if we work together as a team then, then uh, and plus the other organizations in the kingdom, then I think that will create the, the effects which we, wanted, uh, which we want to create. Excellent. So you, um, what time is your panel today? Um, I think it is, uh, I think it is um, just uh, five o'clock or four thirty. I forgot. And okay. yeah, yeah, it's okay. after the the fast uh, the final talk. Mm -hmm. I think it will finish four thirty, and then after that, I think. Okay. Well, okay. well, well. Best of luck in your in your panel. And thank you. Nicholas. Thank you so much for for joining us today. Okay. It's a pleasure. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, and thank you to everyone on Facebook for joining us. We'll be back uh, at three o'clock with Dr. Robert Voigt uh, to talk about education and development of the ecosystem as well.